Well, the 90 degree days are here to stay with us as well to start the work week off with more rain and storms, especially as we go late into this new work week. First alert Titan radar are even showing some isolated showers and a couple rumbles of thunder, but largely things are dying out and will be drying up the rest of the evening. So any remaining showers happening right now, things will be quieting down with the next hour or two. We'll be dry throughout the overnight hours. Really not much going on through South Georgia either. Some strong stuff happening well north out of our immediate area. So yeah, through the overnight, some passing clouds, temperatures staying warm and muggy. We'll be quiet and calm to start your Monday with those low temperatures in the low 70s but the upper 70s at the coast for those low temperatures much warmer down there. Then tomorrow we'll back up into the 90s, low 90s, of course, feeling very sweltering, factoring in the humidity, generally seeing upper 80s, low 90s going into tomorrow and even Tuesday. And it looks like we do have some tropical systems to discuss both in the Atlantic. We still have our eye on that long term area to watch, which is in the eastern Atlantic still has a slow development progression as it moves to the west and northwest throughout the next week. So just very gradual development expected as it moves closer to the Caribbean. But right now we're looking at an area that is just about 500 miles southeast off of the Georgia South Carolina border, which within the next day will actually make landfall it could strengthen to a tropical depression and that could give us some rainier weather, especially for our northeastern most counties. So we'll kind of put a track on this with our barren model through the early morning tomorrow. You can see the most direct impacts will be through central and north Georgia as through southern and South Carolina, but this will send a lot of moisture into the southeastern states. So it could give us some more storm covered coverage by tomorrow afternoon, especially east of I-75 and for places in like Clinch and Eccles County. So very minimal impacts with this potential tropical development happening for our immediate area. But nonetheless, we do have a lot of support for scattered storms throughout this entire work week, independent of that potential tropical system. So tomorrow we do have some scattered storms on the way, maybe some more rainfall for our northeastern quadrant, thanks to that potential tropical development, some heavy downpours, some gusty winds. But then on Tuesday, it looks like more widespread activity is happening too by the late day hour. So each and every day, we have some scattered storms on the way, pretty much what we expect for this time of the year. But I think Wednesday and the rest of the week, that's when it's going to be more widespread coverage. So it's kind of a wet and unsettled pattern, which is unfortunate since we're heading into 4th of July weekend next weekend. So tomorrow, yes, we will have low impacts from that potential tropical system really for our northeastern counties, but overall scattered storms on the way this entire week. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s once we go Wednesday into the rest of the week. Still, of course, feeling muggy, though.